in this video I will cover how to go in and customize your t-shirt calculator. Once you open it up it looks like this and this is our home page. From the home page we want to go ahead and we want to go over to settings. Click on add company information. Change your company's information. Save time on the video, I won't change all of this. Hit add information. That will change that area and put your information there. If you want to put in an address, go ahead and fill it out. We'll override and put in our information. To add your logo, Click on the image, right click it, change picture, and select your image from a file. And see if I want it, this image. Insert it, and there's your logo. You can increase the size of your logo by dragging and dropping. You can also move it around. You may want to put it over here. Now, our, our page has been customized. If you want to go in and you want to change your settings, you'll do so under buttons, under the buttons here. Under apparel, you've got all of your different apparel options, printing options, other settings. We're going to go through the apparel options in this video. To look up apparel, you click on look up apparel, and in this area, let's shut this down, you can search for your products by brand, by description, and name, and do your wholesale and markups. For example, if I want to search for G500, I could put in G5. That will show me all of the shirts that start with that. If I know the, the exact style number, I can put that in. Shop, your calculator comes preloaded with over 2,000 products. Right here we're at 2,066. And that's just on that one. So when you want to clear it out, you can hit clear. You can do the same thing. You can search by product. Let's say we take off all of these and we just want to see what we have in All Sport. This will show us the All Sport brand. If you want it to customize your pricing, you can do so. Over here, you enter in your wholesale pricing. You can do a overall markup by clicking on, clicking on the button here, and you can drag this down. I just forgot to change it. I can do a 200% mark, and then I can click it, and I can just drag that down. That will change my prices there going to undo. Make sure that once you do that, you save, you go in and you save everything in your shop manager. Let's go back to the T-Zone, which is the calculator. And your version may look a little bit different from this. Go back under settings. And if I want to change my apparel colors, I could change apparel colors. I'm sorry. I missed out on something. If you wanted to add a new product, you could click here, add a new product, and enter in the style number, and the product will be automatically added into your database. We'll go over that in another video also. To add apparel, and to add apparel, we would click on the apparel colors, and these are all of the colors that are already pre-installed. You can go in and you can edit this by clicking the edit button. That will take you to all of your products and you can either manually go in and edit all of those. If, if I wanted to clear all of this stuff out and start over with just my products, I could easily just go in here, select all, go 
all the way down to the very last button, right click it, and hit delete uh, table rows, and then start inserting, inserting what I wanted to add. Now, but we're going to do it using the form. In the form, if I type in red, and I want red to be a dollar, and I hit add new color, it tells me if that color already exists. So red is the first color at the top, and it already exists. So it's telling me that it exists and what cell it's in. I'm going to hit clear. Let's try another color, such as pink. And I want the upcharge on pink to be 50 cents at the color. Once the color is successfully added, you'll get a pop-up that says color is added. That color is now at the bottom of your form. If ever a time that you are adding colors and your color does not add, right click here and go up to insert and insert a row below the table. Okay? And that'll solve that problem. I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to click close. Let's go back up and click on our t shirt calculator. Bring it back up, go back into settings. We can also set apparel discounts. If you want to set an apparel discount, the apparel discount is set based on the quantity of shirts the customer buys, and that's based on blank quantity. So you can just go in here and enter that by. Um, directly into the sale by what you want. So if I was, if a customer was ordering 72 shirts, they get a 10% discount from me off of the retail price. And we're talking blank tees before apparel decorations. We'll get into the apparel decorating when we cover the printing, printing methods. You can also do upcharge by size. These are preset sizes. Again, same thing with every form. If I want to see that form, I can click edit and replace it. And I can either go over here and replace or I can add my new product information here and it will be here. Let's just add a 7X. Let's say the upcharge on a 7X is 8 bucks. So we'll successfully add the product there. And now the product has been added to my drop down list. I can go in and edit that. Very easily, and just go in here, right click it, and delete those rows from my table. And that is how you set up the apparel prices in the shop manager. Well, the t shirt calculator, we're calling this version Miss T's t shirt calculator 2019 with shop manager so we've gone back to the t-shirt calculator name in the next video i'll show you guys how to set up your printing costs thanks for watching